welcome to map tv please do subscribe to our channel for more videos click on the bell button for good evening this is live from mob tv we are at mc junction trying to find out the people's opinion concerning the postponed election so keep it locked on mob tv don't go nowhere i'm still your favorite human being N E S T O R. go nowhere we're live on mob tv about the council the election that was supposed to hold today being the 16th of february 2019 was cancelled due to some reasons they cited logistics do you think is a good thing are you feeling bad about it are you feeling good about it what's your take tell us i'm feeling bad about this so why are you feeling bad because they cancelled the election i don't understand why they cancelled it okay come 23rd of february are you still going to cast your vote yes okay you're not discouraged are you yeah no well, um, you know, in most of these, um, um, uh, what do you call elections, we have some feelings that uh, maybe they are not ready, they are INIC per se. They are not ready due to the logistics in, on board. So if they are saying that uh, they want to get prepared, so that they give us free and fair election, good, I'm okay by it, so that we'll have a, a very good uh, election. So come 23rd of February, you will still cast your vote? Definitely, yeah, it's for the good of all Nigerians because if they are well prepared, we should wait for them and, uh, and the 23 will we'll go there and uh, cast our vote. Man, it's quite disappointing coupled with the fact that um, the kind of um, seriousness people have actually wanted to, you know, exercise their civic duties by, you know, voting in someone credible and, you know, that's going to take the country to greater heights. But it's disappointing that the uh, INEC just broke news to us that um, the election is not going to hold anymore. So it's quite meaningful and Nigerians are quite disappointed, seriously. So um, come uh, 23rd of February, who are you going to vote? Um, actually, I, I, I registered my PVC in um, Lagos State and I couldn't make it to Lagos State this week. So... I'm very happy the election was cancelled because as it stands now, first thing next week before the election, I'm live in Lagos to exercise my civic duty. You know, they think they can bring us down, but it's not going to work. Um, I don't know, the ruling party, the ruling party has, has they've, they've been quite, you know, they've not been considerate enough to win Nigerians, the masses. So I, I believe... By next week, I'll be in Lagos to cast my vote because this one now don't motivate me. I swear down. I don't really feel good about it. I don't like the way they cancel it because a lot of people miss their activities today. Only the name of canceling the election. So come 23rd of February, who do you think you're going to vote? Mm, now, okay, I'm, I think I'll vote Atiku. You are voting article come 23rd. Okay, so you have your PVC ready. Well, uh, I was, uh, we woke up this morning and had the news. I was just, we, we, don't, we wasn't feeling happy about it because that means there's no certainty in this country. You can't just wake up any morning and hear anything. There's no certainty because I can't believe that election has never one day been cancelled in Nigeria since I become a human being uh, to this high, this level I am today. Okay, sir, with how you're feeling, come. 23rd being February for the next election, a week today. Who do you think you are going to exercise your franchise for, sir? Well, can't we finish this one before we can't have to, have to go the next one? Because this is involved money. Economy, okay? Well, if uh, the government decides to give us money to tie it as well, because some people from the north we are giving free buses. For instance, from over here to my place, I paid 800 yesterday. So, I think I, I can't imagine it. Now I'm coming back here now, I paid 500. Then he said tomorrow, next, uh, next week again, I'll go and pay another one. Eh? Don't you know I have children and how should take care of? I said it early before that we don't participate because we don't believe in this particular government. We only believe in the government that will take care of people's needs and take it care permanently. And that is Jehovah's kingdom that we are all waiting to, 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 to have in God's kingdom. We know that in God's kingdom, all every problem, all this suffering, death, everything will be solved permanently. But you know that this particular government cannot do that for us. So, only but, sir, you have your PVC. 
Yes, I have my PVC. Why? How? I, I, I do respect the government. I do respect the authorities. I have my PVC because maybe if we want to go to bank, they maybe ask you your ID card, PVC, or that. Then I have to make use of it on that. I don't feel good. But you have your PVC. Yeah. So come twenty third of February, who do you think you're going to vote? I vote. I don't know. I cannot vote for president election because I don't know who is the right person. Okay, you're not voting for the presidential election. You don't know who is the right person. Yeah. So who do you think you're going to vote in any other kind of election? If it is governorship election, I will vote for um, which one also? Why? I love the guy. Okay. You just love him. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, it's not really cool because it's actually destabilized everybody's movement. People actually thought we were going to have the election today. Like if you see, the city is very like scanty. Most people are confused. But on the other hand, the main purpose of the election is to make it to be creditable without uh, rigging and all the rest. So if it's for the best, we, I think we are cool to rerun it like on Saturday. So you're saying come next Saturday you're going to cast your vote? You have your PZC? Definitely, I do. So who do you think you are going to turn print for? Uh, I think that's supposed to be a personal decision. Uh, it's a personal decision. You heard it from him. Yeah, I don't have to say it here. Oh. It's so, so bad. So your business, how is it? How did it affect it? Some got spoiled because of the election. So do you think 23rd of February you will still vote? I don't know yet too. So you don't know yet concerning that decision? So you heard it from her. I think she had her goods, her fruits, perishable, spoiled due to the cancelled election. Not only her, a good number of people outside there, they are complaining the same thing. That everything they prepared to sell is really spoiling. So people are really giving out their opinion. It's not so good. So keep it locked on Mob TV. I woke up this morning to hear what is happening. I'm not happy about what happened. This country, I don't know what to say about the country. I don't know what Nigeria is turning into. I don't know. So come next week Saturday, will you cast your vote for any particular candidate? It depends. Who, like, before I continue, it, can you see where they told somebody to go to a partic particular polling unit and there's no security, there is no accommodation for core members. You can see them lying on a bare floor, which is very bad. So on the 23rd, it depends if I will cast my vote or not. Well... Let me rest my case there. Let me rest my case. So I I feel okay about it because it made situations to calm down. So okay, come next week Saturday. Are you going to cast your vote? Uh uh Why not? I have my PVC. Okay. Who do you think you are going to vote for in the presidential level? I don't know yet. I'll vote my conscience. You vote your conscience. You've heard it from him. So he's happy the election was postponed because he thinks it calms situations down. And come 23rd of February, he's voting his conscience. Well, I felt so bad. I woke up this morning and they said that they've cancelled the election. So it's very, very bad. I'm very, very annoying. I'm, I'm very, very serious. It pays me a lot in this Nigeria. So by next election, are you going to vote for any particular candidate? Yeah, sure, of course. Already I have an article in mind. Oh. Yeah, so I'm um, voting for article. So yeah, this so this cancelled election, how did it affect you? Well, it made me not, not attempt to my business today. I just I was just fucked up today. So I, I'm very, very angry, honestly. So I don't want this to repeat next time, honestly. Because it make me not go to anywhere, indoor throughout today. Okay, you've heard it from him. I mean, I know they're English now. Are you happy about it? No, I know they are English. They are, you know, are you, you they happy say they cancel the election? Nah, they are happy now. Why are you happy? Because he read the in the election now. And they say they don't live on now. Okay, you get your PVC? I know they are down now. Okay, you go vote on next week Saturday, you go vote? No, I know go vote now. Okay. You know they happy say they cancel the election. I thought you said that thing why you ask me. I know he had the thing why you ask me now. Okay, you've heard it from him. He said he know he are waiting at the exam. So of course we've uh, already prepared uh, and with our PVC ready for the election. And uh, at the dying minute it was cancelled. So I'm not feeling uh, good about it. 
So um, by next uh, election, shadowed on 23rd, do you think you will still exercise your civic duty? Of course, uh, because I think uh, they have ulterior motive to cancel this uh, election because this is something we've they've all been preparing for years now. So I I know there should be everything is supposed to be settled by now. So and we are eager to exercise our franchise coming next week uh, Saturday. We we'll fully prepared and um, do our civic right. Okay. My brother, I tell you I am in shock. The truth is that it's a national embarrassment. The INEC chairman ought to resign by now. How can you, after all this preparation, at the nick of time, you come and cast such an election? What about the international community, the international observers that have spent their money, time, book holders and all that? What about businesses? What about the economic loss? What, uh, which one would you say and leave the other one? How can on earth somebody who says he is reasonable come at the nick of time and then cancel the election that have been prepared for? For how long now? It's not as if the thing came sudden. I'm so surprised, so disappointed, so shocked. The INEC chairman, I repeat, ought to resign by now. I'm telling the truth. The man is an embarrassment to us. He's a big failure. It's um, uh, disheartening, I must just uh, say the very least. Understand? We're living in a country where the politicians are taking us for a ride. You get? They take everybody as fools. I mean, INEC had, uh, I think, three or four years to prepare for the election. And they kept on promising, even till the last day, that they were 100% ready. And unfortunately, the same day the election was meant to take place, it was uh, cancelled or postponed. So it just shows uh, there is something hidden behind all this. It's very possible the ruling party maybe has seen it clearly that they are going to lose the election, maybe. But it's just uncalled for. A lot of people left their locations and traveled to where they registered to vote, and the whole thing is messed up. So uh, we are really living in a jungle, let me put it that way. Okay. okay, so come 23rd of February 2019, yeah. who do you think you are going to thumbprint for? Who I'm going to do what for? Vote for. Oh, definitely everybody is tired of the ruling party. It's clear. It's clear. So, I mean, that question does not require an answer because everybody knows clearly that the ruling APC has really disappointed everybody. So we need, uh, uh, you know, another option. So definitely the votes will go for... PDP, Article 1 will be definitely, no doubt about that. In fact, I feel sad. I feel sad because we have prepared for the election, you understand? And we feel that everything is going to take place. You understand? I don't know why it was postponed. Why I'm saying this is that because... Uh, the two head political parties, like now I had in the news that uh, PDP chairman Uche Sekundu said that, uh, that they will not agree to the new date. To, to say that there's something fishing, you understand? If there is nothing, look at the riot at Kaduna yesterday. And we learned that Anambra State, uh, all the electoral material that was taken to Anambra State was got, got burnt. You understand? We don't know what they are doing. We don't know where they are taking us to. You understand? They are putting, make, putting the country into confusion. So we are not happy. I'm, personally, I'm not happy over it. Thank you. You've heard it from the people concerning the postponed election. So keep it locked on Mob TV to get more enticing and more educative and informative information. Put your comment below and don't forget to subscribe on Mob TV. I'm still your favorite human being, N-E-S-T-O-R. Go nowhere.